Hey there everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Scare Canarium, and potentially the last one. Darkness Within, Pursuit of Loth Nolder. Very popular mystery novel in which the protagonist discovers some dark secrets that have come to haunt him from the hidden depths of his own lineage. I actually would like to read that. I wonder if that's a real book. Huh, it's a trophy item. Cool. But yeah, so that'll give me something to read. Uh, I honestly am still a bit mystified as to how we ended up in here. I think we touched Dr. He. We need to be cautious, not to let anyone else see this grand collection. It could be extremely dangerous for both of us. Okay, so were you talking to me initially with that? Another flashlight in case I decide to be a goof and not get that one. But, yeah. We spoke to Dr. Faust and then ended up in here. That's creepy. Deliberately preserved heads from Mesopotamian marshlands. Such cultivated minds kept in permanence by getting dried under the scorching sun with methods now lost to us. Hmm. I wonder how accurate some of the stuff is. And I wonder if this is just memories. Like, are, it, was Dr. Faust speaking to me? A stuffed subadult Nile crocodile. One of the oldest creatures still living on the face of the earth. Nothing in there. A medicine man mask from Northwest Africa. A sacrifice ritual mask from Middle Africa. I mean, thanks for the history tour, I guess. You know, the, the curiosities. But, uh, I'm not here for that. I need to find out what happened and where I am and who's doing what. What is this? A crowbar? Yeah, found a crowbar. All right. Hide Jason Todd. Every, hide the Robins, boys. Can't, can't be near them with a crowbar. Hmm. Looks like a preparation for a long trip. And what looks like... Looks like a preparation yes, I know. For preparation for a long trip. trip. I'm trying to see the map, though. I can't get a good shot of that map. Hmm. Okay, before I go that way... This relic is from Madagascar. I have two versions, but this one is extremely rare. It is called Ur Hanaldi. Nobody knows exactly what it means. But from its symbolic depiction of a dark sphere inside a light one, it is thought that it could mean the underworld. That just looks like something awesome to beat someone over the head with. Masks. Mask of an all-powerful moon goddess, esteemed by an eastern island tribe, now lost in time. It is from the private collection of the late famous hermit, Klaus von Herdeth. Don't ask me how I get it. I have my ways. He looks like a Kyoshi warrior, not gonna lie. Elusive mask from the submerged parts of Kogulan Islands. Where is this place? A cryptic mask with an untraced origin. Those are just aliens. Skulls from New Guinea that are believed to be housing protective spirits. 
This is called the Mask of the Beholder. Why does that sound familiar? I don't know, but I'm sure I'll mention it in the video at some point. The Beholder, I swear that sounds familiar. What was that for? Let's see, a letter. <clears throat> Dear E.W. Ross, How can we comprehend exactly how much time has passed since the erection of the earliest ziggurats of Sumeria? We can know about the time-worn Sphinx still standing in the Giza Plateau. The only justify, they only justify the sheer ignorance of mankind by forcefully making us admit our instantaneous vibrations in the vast cosmos are but an illusion. Today I want to inform you about something that is equally as interesting as such edifices. That is something I presume that you will find a hard time believing. I have finally acquired some of the information regarding the fabled cities of Rub al Khali, which are said to have been built in an undreamt age of certain wonders and rumored to have been intentionally submerged beneath the eternally shifting sands thousands of years ago. There is even more to the story. According to a reliable source, there should be depictions or information about those locations of ancient canariums buried within those halls. Within a few weeks, you will receive a book containing the locations of these cities and a map predating all maps known today, directly copied from the antediluvian originals. I am sure you are excited beyond imagination and eager to discuss these findings in detail. But that will have to wait a while, since I will be away for some time visiting the oriental wonders of the old world. I am sure you know what I mean. Hope to see you soon. Harley Warren. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, anything in here? No? Let me just need to grab some No, no, nothing. But all this stuff to look at. Woodland Lizard Spirit Mask. Mm-hmm. Strange. A serpentine ritual mask from India, which is said to have hypnotic effects on the one who deeply gazes into its eyes. What? Hmm. It sounded like the floor is hollow back there. Nope. Nope. Not dabbling with that yet. That can wait. We're gonna, we're gonna close that and come back later. We got more stuff to explore. This is exactly the same room I've been in in one of my visions. Whoa, wait. Yeah, you're right. This is... Oh, snap. This is the other side of that. This is... This is the other side of that room. Because I walked... He was saying, oh, you know, I think you should return to your room now. And all that other stuff. I remember that. I was in, like, what? Episode, like, four? Five? Nothing new here. Strange. Can I rotate it? Okay, October 1st, October 6th, and October 13th, 1949. What does that have anything to do with anything? Can't cross that way, can't pick up the skulls, can't turn off that light. Is there anything else in here that I need to look at? It's a penguin. A figurine of the Emperor Penguin, a, a creature native to Antarctica. Oh, I guess that's a thing now. Where is this phonograph cylinder? I'm sure it's in here somewhere. This will drive me absolutely bonkers. Phonograph cylinder. Where have you hidden? Aha. Another letter. Old friend. What you've told me about the shared nature of the experience of the canarium provides me... Provides me think about the necromatic means of data inquiry. I'm sure you remember what I told you about why certain corpses never decay, but rest firm and fat in their tombs for thousands of years. I believe, with some help from a certain acquaintance, 
I can provide you with such specimens. This would be beneficial for us both, I believe. Eagerly awaiting your answer, H. Ward. Hmm. They're trying to get information from dead people? Which is why that weird... Ed thing exists, but I wasn't dead. Locked. Okay, well, definitely not going that way. There's downstairs, which I have yet to go to. Are you locked? No. Nope, I don't like that. I don't like that sound. Hold on. There's got... There's gotta be something down here. Come on. Okay, the door's locked. Flashlight. Yep, yep, yep. I know that. Strange coffins. Gas tank. There's literally nothing down here. Just... Aha. <clears throat> Lying outside the known space continuum. This is the dimension to which the gate of knowledge is... Wait. Hold on. Let me read that again. <clears throat> Lying outside the known space-time dimension. This is a dimension to which the gate is knowledge and the key is the canary. As we start to shed our fleshly bindings, we start to perceive more and more. If we inquire by merely knowing and thinking of any subject matter, windows to related time and space opens up before our non-material selves, our minds. And what's better, we've grasped that the experiences and the sessions are shared and even improved by all attendees' personal knowledge. Even thinking about the possibilities that may bestow upon us in our quest for transcending the limits of our mortal bodies is about to make me crazy. But sometimes I wonder what has been keeping our sanity intact inside of this forbidden place. Behind the thick walls of pitch darkness surrounding us, there is something looming, whispering in my ears in a language familiar, yet I cannot discern its content. Okay, so that was it for down here. Thanks, bye. And we're going to close that door and never talk about that again. I'm still confused as to where that phonograph cylinder went. Unless it was just, hey, you can hold on to the phonograph. Or the cylinder for the phonograph and then just use it whenever. Maybe there's stuff in here. Aha, journal entry. Here we go. As told in some banned ancient volumes I was able to acquire, it is evident that the canarium, when properly adapted to work with the human psyche and physiology, can transcend the mind beyond the limits of time and space into a peculiar place we are yet to explore. If for our own experiences corresponding exactly with the depictions provided in the Necronomicon, wow, you actually had that? And some other books of forgotten lore, I would easily declare myself a madman. Conclusively, I have solid evidence printed out for me to justify the objectivity of my position. That dimension is completely devoid of light other than some small glowing and morphing geometrical shapes appearing and disappearing momentarily around us. It also feels extremely cold, but I do not believe these are just null sensations. Wait, that these are just null sensations that our physical bodies attain from what is otherwise impossible to acquire without the canarium. It is not for us to see this fantastic void with a pair of corporeal eyes. And possibly we are the first explorers to ever reach this ancient forbidden place. But the question now weighing heavy on the mind is whether we could ever fully understand this experience with the hindrance of our own limited sensations. Ooh, that's deep though. Like, that's mad deep dog. Like, he, he's flat out saying like, we just don't understand what we're looking at. Electrical discharge heads and electrical sound transmitters. This thing, what is this, what is this? Second component, primary component, interior mounted on a glove. But what does it do? Explain to me that. What is my weird watch hand? I wish to know what it is. Anything else in here? No? What is this for? Looks like something's missing here. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I wish to discover what it is. Oh. Was it down here this whole time? Jesus. Hmm. Don't know what that is. There's the cylinder. 
I need something that can fit. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't go there then. When using Cornarium, we are able to be seen as well as to see. For some time, I was detecting a conscious something, previously unseen by my rudimentary vestiges. Only lately, it becomes clear to me. Now it comes into every session and seems to materialize more and more each time. I won't, I won't attempt describing it, but only would say that it's not benevolent. From what I can get from its glowing semblance, which I believe is used as a way of communication, it can sense you only if you spend a considerable time within the sessions. I've read about it in the cursed Necronomicon and some elusive records compiled from deep-rooted Bedouin oral literature. Thus learned that it tries reaching the corporeal vessel to dominate and execute the wanderers of the beyond, such as ourselves. But again, against all warnings, I was a fool to believe that I can stop it with just simple signs and incantations. As a resort, we ended up lighting up the place with myriads of candles as well as electrical lamps. But still shiver with fear, with every noise our rundown enclave is causing. Isolated from ancient darkness of the night. Alright, well, let's see if we can find out what goes in here. I need to figure out what is needed. Got the engine. What? What made that sound? Do not approve of that. Hey, that's locked now? What? There's gotta be something I'm just blatantly missing right now. According to legend, this very djembe belonged to a learned drummer from Senegal, who can speak with the dead by rhythmically beating it. Interesting. About that thing down there. A native drum from the Asmat people of New Guinea. Their creation myth says Fumeripits made the first carvings of men and women. By beating on this drum, Fumeripits caused the figures to dance, bringing them to life. Interesting. So he has a bunch of things that he really should not have. Long story short. There was nothing of value there. Object with eight pointy shapes on it. What is the point of this thing? That's uh, I know this painting. I just don't remember who it is. I think that's Chronos? Maybe? I don't know. Nothing. Anything. I know I got a crowbar. Can I equip the crowbar? Is that what I could do? Or did I already use the crowbar to open the leaky, the fake floor? Hmm. Mystery's getting weirder and weirder. Wait a second. That part. That goes down here, doesn't it? Yeah. It goes here. Uh, uh, oh wait, the symbols, 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 symbols. Where, where, where is it? Where is it? Oh wait, wrong button. The symbols were in my journal. All right, several symbols. That's fine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's see if it's these symbols. Not even remotely close. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I know we've seen this symbol. What was the point of that? There's got to be something I'm missing here. Wait, maybe it's not a drawing. Five glyphs. Hmm. Okay, so... According to... Something I happened to read online. I want to see if this actually works. So the clues for this puzzle are actually given on the calendar. So you want to look at items one. It was, let me see, where are they? There's one, I think it was one, six, and 13 that he circled. Thirteen being ahead. Where's one? One and six are what's missing. Numbers of these. Oh. It was one six thirteen, right? One six thirteen. Thirteen being the head. One being the staff. Or six. Staff mask head. Okay. Uh Staff Mask Head 1613. There's something about the clues in there. Let me interact with the journal. I remember the journal button. One day I'll remember how to play this game properly. Here we go. J. Uh, things in the journal. Right? Item one. One, it's a relic from Madagascar. Hanaldi, nobody knows exactly what it means. I brought it from an old captain who often visits from the island for trading purposes. It means underworld. Let's see. Under the scorching sun, 13 is the sun. Dark sphere inside a light one. Okay, let's try this. A dark sphere inside a light one. One, six, 13. Okay, maybe it's the other way around. I know dark sphere inside the light one. Or maybe it's that. Oh, no? okay. Hmm. Yeah, moon goddess, eastern tribe, now lost the time. One was... Symbolic depiction of a dark sphere inside a light one. So, this... Six, and then 13 would be the scorching sun. So, dark sphere inside a light one. Is this... That sounded like it clicked. Yes. Made it in, boys. Took a little bit longer than I expected. 
But yeah, uh, apparently you actually get an achievement if you solve that puzzle without interacting with anything. Which you're not likely to do. I need a phonograph cylinder. Another cylinder? Where? Where would that even be out here? Don't tell me it's down there somewhere. I'm super paranoid about missing something. I need a phonograph cylinder. I need a phonograph yeah, yeah, yeah. cylinder. I'm ignoring the phonograph cylinder garbage right now. I hope the ladder doesn't give out under my weight. The moment you say that, it's going to. That or I'm just not going to be able to come back. I don't like how long this is taking to climb downstairs. Okay, is there things here? I don't like that. Oh, I can skip it now? Okay. Okay. Oh, but I can open these. Uh, highly ornamental wooden mask clearly depicts a cephalopod creature. Just looking at it gives me the shivers. Hi, Cthulhu. Trophy item. Can I open anything else? Please? There's got to be a cylinder around here somewhere. I'm, I'm paranoid. I gotta look somewhere. Give me a minute. Okay. Back at it. So, one, I'm an idiot. Literally this box right here. Give me this. In archaic myths, lurking in shunned and forbidden volumes, I've been able to trace some parts speaking about a device of non-terrestrial origin that is capable of much more than I could ever imagine. Ancient cornariums, I will call them. Machines which are said to have been built long before mankind ever tread on this planet. The very source of the design I've used to make my own version of the machine. All right, thank you. Next, we're going down here, skipping that. The other thing we're looking for, actually down here. Oh, I can't go in there yet. Okay. It was just a corpse, just chilling there. This corpse. Okay. Strange. To rotate this upside down, but there we go. Shape resembles an elder thing. Hmm, but the question is which elder thing? We need a phonograph cylinder. Another one. Here? Yes. I shall also take this. Fancy dancy millions of dots. It is said that ancient conariums have the ability to transfer one's mind outside through the endless vacuum into other receiving conariums. Just think about the possibility of shedding off the earthbound mortal coil to reach to the stars and yonder as a free agent to see the grand scheme above and beyond the third dimension. Being able to contemplate vistas and sense things you could never ever dream of 
with the help of the bodily sensations. Finally, we shall overleap time, space, and dimensions, and without bodily motion, peer to the bottom of creation. Yes, I know how this sounds to you. This is incomprehensible, even for someone like me who spent almost a lifetime on such arcane topics. It is just sad to see. The knowledge has been out there all the time forevermore, and we failed to read between the lines. Yeah, the lines are there for a reason, my guy. It's called the uh, sanity. I remember this place. And what we achieved here, violating the laws of nature with the help of those dead bodies brought here secretly from only God knows where, forcing them to cooperate by the means of the cursed necromancy, and dreaming their dreams in those profane sessions to learn forbidden knowledge. Now I can distinctly see how pure madness once roamed here within our own shoes. Okay, so they were clearly insane. That's what the dead bodies were for. They were using those guys as a sort of locked. Ow. It's stuck. What? There must be a key. There must be a key somewhere. I remember this and place. I already, I already heard a lot. There must be a key. There must be. Aha. Uh -huh. There it is. The question is, does this key work on both doors? I sure hope so. That one's open. No. It's stuck. Okay. Be a thing inside this room that helps. Not that glitch thing. Oh no, did that just boot me out of there? Well, guess I'll have to figure that out later. I knew it. All those years of extensive research have not been in vain. Here it is. Lying dormant and standing still beneath the eternally shifting sands of Rubal Kali for who knows how many millennia. The hallway seems like it was intentionally blocked with this ornate wall, and there are some primal writings inscribed on it. Hmm. As far as I can tell, the text talks about a guardian, a formless, glistening, and reflectively iridescent black protoplasm, able to mock and reflect all forms and organs. Hmm. Hmm. As far as I can tell, the text talks about a guardian, a formless, glistening and reflectively iridescent black protoplasm able to mock and reflect all forms and organs wait a minute so I'm not playing as my normal guy I'm playing as Dr. Faust right now huh awesome oh am I in his memories is that what this is and why is everything shaking upstairs It's definitely not what you would do at an archaeological dig, but we gotta get through to the truth, guys. Smashy smash. You know, eons and millennia of actual study and material that we could use there, but it's gone now. Forever. I broke it. Big heckin' oofs. I 
wonder if these mummified bodies were the ones who originally built this place. I wonder if these mummified oh, bodies thing. were the ones who originally built this place. I wonder how the fire just kept going for years on end. Does that make sense? Hmm. Okay, that lit up. Those lit up. That didn't. Okay, does everything need to light up? Is that what I need to... Do you need to be blue or do you need to be red? Okay. I'm missing a ring, is that... Okay, those are lit up. Those aren't. Those are. Still are. Hmm. What am I supposed to do? Line you all up? So this might be a bug because I can't open the journal at all. So I'm going to save here just to be safe. Yes. I'm going to load that exact same save. Because there's got to be something in my journal that helps me here. I don't even have anything in the journal. Hmm. Okay. No idea. I'm very lost here. Nope, I'm just stupid. The journal did work. It's a different button. So. Let's see if I can match this up. Three across the top. across the top. Ow. I need two, three. So two lined up down. The red guy needs to move. I was literally one circle away. I thought I was wrong. There we go. Problem solved. Hey, it's a thing. I guess I have that now.
Can investigate this. Oh. Well, that's what that was for. found it. This mural is depicting the continents in the middle... Hmm. Jurassic era, I believe. This is marvelous, as well as overwhelming. <laughs> the light from the device is obviously showing the locations of the ancient conariums. Yes, it definitely is so, for I've known two of these places from the detailed petroglyphs in the secret halls beneath the Khafre's pyramid. But they all had gone now. Even their ruins had been crumbled under the waves of human cruelty and the merciless time. But this lowermost landmass is what we call Antarctica today. It is most probable that the structure that holds the Conarium is mostly enduring still today. So this is supposed to be Antarctica. That means there's two there. That's cool beans, though. But now what? Nothing else to do in here. <laughs> Earthquake! I better leave this place immediately. Oh, so that was that amorphous god that he was talking about. That was trippy. Please don't tell me I'm leaving the house. I've left the house. Dang it. It won't open. I don't know what that thing was, but I wanted to go hmm. see what it was. It's stuck. I have a flashlight? No. It's stuck. It won't open. My room is open. That's so yikes. What happened to me? This is the price we must pay for our transgressions. The price to be paid for breaking away from the limits of mortal flesh and delving into arcana of consciousness that few have trod. Ah, what the hell is going on? You are naive for suppressing our truest aspirations. Such earthly fear of improbability detached you from our absolute purpose. Okay. Jesus. I definitely lost my mind. Uh, We're back here again. Uh, Covered in blood. Uh, so... Where'd Dr. Faust go? What in the world is going on? Oh wait, is that you? Oh god, what has happened to him? Dr. Faust, can you hear me? Are you alright? Yes. 
I can scarcely hear you. How terrific is the price of a single glimpse behind the veil of nature. Frank, we've sought to escape from the, the tedium and limitations of waking reality into beckoning vistas of fabled avenues of other dimensions. But did it work? Or was all in vain for us to begin with? I lost my sight and I cannot feel my legs anymore. <laughs> Our bodies are falling apart under such alien sensations of this accursed device we used to open forbidden doors of time and space. And I feel every part of my body is failing fast. I have no power within me to resist my downward course now. So you... you have to move on. There is no other way. Reach the ancient conarium and shed your deteriorated skin. Else consume some of this. It will ease your pain. But eventually you will end up like me. And I'm, I have such Dr. Faust! Dr. Faust! Ah, poor Faust. He is dead. <laughs> what is this? No. I will not consume the Jeffrey Shea plant. He said you'll end up just like me, which means you die. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save here. I'm gonna oh wow that actually says ending so <laughs> this is literally the end all right well might as well finish it now so I'm gonna save here and I will go ahead and do both endings one where I consume the plant and one where I don't see some lights long upward trek up this mountain but I see no lights here what is this I have noted down the symbols found some symbols carved on a rock plate okay Check mark and fast forward. Uh, which one's check mark and fast forward? I guess two lines and that thing. Oh, wait, no. The two lines fast forward matches with the Z. Okay, so this is the right one. That matches with that. What's on this rock? Fire. Which is this one, so I need the sun with a battery underneath. Or the ocean. If you can't draw. Come on, dude. You gotta draw better than that. I, I'm saying this and then I literally cannot draw for squat. Uh, camping tent. That works. What do we got over here? Uh, uh, 
some some wind patterns around the moon, I guess. Where is this one? Aha, here. I don't know what that is. Oh, that one's already there. That that works. Lucky me. What is this one? Block needs squiggly lines. You need this one. A weird bell sprout looking thing. The other forte sign here needs a hot pot. Hot pot, hot pot, hot pot. Oh Jesus Christ, what? What did I just do? Did I push this? Ooh, lights. Lights, okay. Okay, uh. So these turn and they. Okay, okay. They cross into one another, I'm assuming. Gotta power this thing up. Oh, that's a hand. I just realized that. Jesus. Uh, no. Don't turn back onto yourself. You'll explode. You never cross streams. You never give it infinite power. Okay, and you go this way, I guess. Close loop. Yes. And then it refracts out that way. Okay, the plants are going away. Hello. Whoa. Okay. You're cool. Like, super cool, actually. Can I recharge this? Maybe? Oh my god, I can recharge it off of you. Come on, buddy. Get some juice. Yeah. Thank you. All these stupid plants. Me and my new friend here. Thank you. Walking battery pack. Hey. Back, you foul demons. I demand it. Back. At that. Away with you. Away, 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 away. Come on. Let me through. I just enough, uh, just enough of your shenanigans. Call him in. You're not coming in? Over the wall? No? Okay. Alone I shall go. I will miss you, golem man. I don't even know what to call you yet. I shall call you... Oh. Um, you know what? I'm gonna call you Connie. You know why? Canarium. Why not? Uh, things ain't looking too hot, Chief. I I, I seem to have crossed between dimensions. Uh, Chief. Chief. Anything left for me to do? I don't know, but uh, but, uh yeah. No. Oh. Oh God. What? Okay, who spiked my drink?
Oh god, am I a fish? Is that me? Am I inside a canary? Oh, this people were waking up too. That was trippy. So I made the choice to become something greater than human. So that was definitely a good, a good game for sure. I like that. That was good puzzles. Some of them were rather confusing. Wow, there was a lot of documents I missed. I did witness almost all the memories though. Wow, 74% and there's more than one ending. I might come back and do the endings at some other point, but for now, that was a good run. I enjoyed it. I will save those results. Traveler of Beyond, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. That was actually super cool. So, I'm missing a few trophies here. I got a lot of it. So, I'm, I'm happy. That was a good, good run through. I'll come back for the rest of them on another time. But... That will be the end of Let's Scare Canarium, guys. I hope you enjoyed the journey. It was, like I thought, a lot longer than initially anticipated. The puzzles are a lot harder than I thought. But I might try to do a speed run through just to get the different endings, get all the documents and all that other stuff. Because apparently I was missing quite a bit. But I will take what I, what I got. Story-wise, that was really interesting. There were some things that still felt weird to me. Like, I get it now, Dr. Faust was into the whole elder gods lovecraftian horror forbidden knowledge type of thing and he was tampering with stuff that he really had zero clue about that was way out of his field he thought he knew he dove in feet first and he got bitten for it so he said look you could take the plant it'll make you feel better but you ain't gonna accomplish squat and you will die or you could transcend your human flesh and then you know become a canarium or one of the ancient canariums or that species that basically transcended out of their own flesh the whole lizard people and what the elder gods are doing all that stuff is still a mystery to me it's cool and it could just be hey they're the elder gods aren't really gods they're just aliens or fourth dimensional beings that influence third dimensional beings like us so it's interesting it's almost like how an artist views their creation in that instance if you create a world like for example the hobbit and have it solely in book form the author of said book then becomes the god of that book so it's really interesting to see that play out in a way that it's like hey these quote unquote elder gods are just the next being up and you could become one of them by transcending your reality it was really interesting. It was it was a good story. I liked it. Still creepy. Uh, the makers of this game actually have a new game coming out in 2020, and I would love to play that game. I also want to play uh, Moons of Madness. It's another Canarium-like game where it's like, okay, you know, Lovecraftian horror, odd setting. This one's actually taking place on Mars, and I would love to play that one. Uh, there's also The Sinking City, another Lovecraftian horror. I want to play that. There's a dystopian Lovecraftian horror out there somewhere. I forgot what it was called, but I have the game, I believe. So I'll definitely play that one as well. So there's a few games that I'm going to be definitely playing more Let's Scares on. I just don't know when I'll start that up again. But this is it. Let's Scare is now complete. We played the two games I originally set to play out. Like, I got those done. It took a lot longer than I expected. I originally wanted to play Moons of Madness for Halloween, and it just did not happen. But... Other than that, guys, this will be the Afro Lad signing out on Let's Scare Canarium. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And join the Curly Crew, and I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.